Uh, hey, for the listeners out there, tell us uh, where you're from, what schools you went to, where you grew up. Yeah, I'm, um, my name is Joseph Manu. I'm from Tukoro. Uh, I went to Tukoro East School. And then, yeah, I went to Take Intermediate and then finished off my school in um, Tukoro High two years ago. And um, obviously things uh, took off for you uh, in regards to rugby league. Yeah. yeah. What happened there? Um, I don't know, just because I was playing rugby all my life and then just started to take up like a bit of games and um, old Uncle Tama and Mr. Ford just told me to come down and play some games for Tokai. Yep. So then, yeah, I just started liking the game. It was pretty exciting and then um, went up to the Nationals tournament and just started from there. That, that's a yeah. uh, National Secondary Schools Rugby yeah. League tournament? Yeah, that's the one. And what happened? Um, someone tapped you on the shoulder or? Yeah, I went up my first year and I was... 15, 14, I think, and then, um, yeah, I was just like, I wasn't getting much game time, because I was like, I was just like one of the youngest in the team, and they just chucked me on for a few minutes, and I just did like a good um, break, and then one of the um, Roosters scouts just went and talked to my dad, said I was just looking at him, and then they came back the year after, and just, yeah, signed it from there. Started from there, and then, yeah, yeah, branched off, they signed you up and said, Joseph, every Friday... We're going to fly you over to Australia. <laughs> Is that what happened, Joseph? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, it was pretty... Um, so what, you'd go to school for the first couple of days and then Thursday or Friday? Yeah. What, what would happen? Uh, yeah, I'd go to school like Monday to Thursday and then I'll go up there like early Friday morning or something and then, yeah, and then fly out Friday and then come back after the game on Saturday. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For some of our young players who are heading over to or thinking about, you know, wanting to make rugby league a career, what what kind of advice have you got? What do you do to make sure you look after yourself when you're over there? Because you're by yourself, yeah. Joseph. You're only a young man. What do you do? Um, well, I just so uh, I study um sports and rec. So oh, nice. I did that. You yeah, education. Yeah, good so work. It's good just to um like get something away from um. Like rugby league, just so you're not like just worrying about that all the time, and just yeah, well, I think it was the off field that um, really helped, just like um, always keeping yourself busy and stuff. But yeah, I just yeah found that I'm um, pretty good, like all my studies and that, and nice. Yeah, just if, um, just went on to on the field. A lot of players who've gone to the NRL, they haven't been able to, they haven't been able to make sure that they could look after themselves, and and they their mental well-being was terrible off the field. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, he saw, like, people that... Oh, he saw boys that move over from New Zealand. It's, like, pretty hard for them because they, like, always miss home and that. Mm. But, yeah, like, last year was a bit hard because it was my first year over there. But now I'm just, like, really liking the place and, like, loving what I'm doing now. And, yeah, it's just trying to, like, not to worry about that because, like, well, my, my family will be here and, like, home will always be home. So, yeah. Mm. 